Can I just, just ask the audience, who, who else runs a business with their other half? Husband or wife? <laughs> Couple. Not many. The rest of you are very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of the time, as the business grows, the business owner's output does as well, unfortunately. Um, and along the way, I know you guys have had some key learnings you know, as to who you are as an entrepreneur, how you best serve the growth of your business, uh, where you should be positioning yourself in your organisation as it grows from seven to eight figures as well, right? Um, I'd love to pick your, like your guys' brain, particularly Robbie and Tammy. They've got a pretty cool story about how they figured that out and kind of the impact that that had. Uh, Jack speaks to this and lays a model over. It's called the Visionary and Integrator Model. If you guys haven't read a book called Rocket Fuel, write it down, please do so uh, at the end of today. Yeah. yeah. It is, it's tectonically transforma transformational. It you guys changed the way that Robbie and I work together. Full stop. Full stop. It was really hard because, um, can I just, just ask the audience, who, who else runs a business with their other half? Husband or wife? <laughs> a couple. Not many. The rest of you are very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was sort of, I was speaking to Larry out the back. I said, you know, from my perspective, running a running a business with your wife is the most uh, frustrating, demanding, <laughs> rewarding, exhilarating experience I've ever had. And I've gone to five different war zones after 24 years <laughs> in, in, in the military. Um, but now that we've sort of cracked the code, you know, we sort of sat down with Jack when we first started the entourage, and he said, look, we're like best friends at home, squabbling in the car on the way to work, hate each other at work, <laughs> squabble in the car on the way home, and we're okay by the time we go to bed. <laughs> like, that was the journey we were on, and we are explaining it to you, Jack, and he's like, ran out of his office, and he came back, he's like, read that book. Yeah. And it spoke about hey, visionary You actually laughed in our face. <laughs> yeah, like, that doesn't surprise You're me. like, I know what's going on here. <laughs> you were, you're like, so chuffed. You're like, <laughs> but... Um, you also said how amazing it was to have that balance. Like a lot of businesses do need to find that other person, uh, whether you hire that person as your general manager or a senior manager in your business to balance out, especially the, the visionary qualities that um, many entrepreneurs have of always striving for those big picture goals and not sort of looking at the minor details and the ripple effects that every detail sort of has. Um, so yeah. Robbie would come up with all these grand ideas and I'd be sitting there going, what the hell is he thinking? Why is he trying to do this to us? And so she's like doubting me. So I'm like, why are you being negative, Nancy? Why are you pulling the handbrake on? Why are you saying no to everything? Yeah, so it wasn't until we realized that, uh, and I do say this, uh, if it was Robbie's business, we'd probably be five years in front but have probably five lawsuits as well. <laughs> and if it was my business, we'd probably be back in year one with a really great employee handbook and OH&S policy. <laughs> <laughs> so the balance is there. So it, uh, we have been really lucky in that way that we've already got each other to work in that way. Whereas I know that a lot of other businesses have had to mm. find that. I think just to add to that, I was literally just having this conversation with uh, a couple of business partners out during the break. And uh, one was say they were saying that one is more drive growth and one is more enable growth, the mm. conversation that we were having earlier. Mm. And, and s similar to the first conversation that we had, they thought it was a challenge in the partnership. And what I was explaining was that's not the... It, it, it is currently a challenge in the partnership. However, it's, it's the very uh, magic of the partnership. If we've got a model and if we've got language and if we've got tools to yeah. uh, cooperate with one another... We actually want to be working with people that are fundamentally different to who we are. We should be values aligned, but we should be fundamentally different. So even those of you that aren't necessarily in business uh, with your other half, as Robbie puts it, um, it might be a business partner that's not a life partner, or it might just be your team a lot of the time. You want people that have different opinions. That's the point of building a team. And so from that will arise friction. Uh, and when managed well, that friction creates the best partnerships. And to me, that really summarizes beautifully the importance of difference of opinion and tension in any good partnership. Mm. But I guess when you get that friction that you speak about, that's the rocket fuel exactly. which allows you to launch. Right.